So the last time I was out here was my solo bushcraft in the wet snow. So that morning when I left, I threw the stovepipe in, uh, into the tent and I took it down. It still was covered in snow. Um, I was kind of in a rush to get out of here. Came back today, noticed that um, this had rotted out. This is the fabric, the heat resistant fabric that touches the stovepipe and this is sewn into the canvas tent. Um, it's completely ripped off here. It's made it really unusable. It certainly could be stitched back in, but because this is the heat resistant fabric, I'm quite frankly not sure if I'm comfortable repairing this. And um, you know, it's kind of a uh, safety concern for me now. It's really stretched out too. Uh, this tent, to be fair, I should talk about this tent. This tent was given to me from a, a company um, Play-Doh um, last year and um, I was going to use it and do a review of it and I if you watch my videos I set it out pretty much for five months I put it out in the fall and uh, left it all winter long and took it down in the spring and uh, my theory was I'm going to test it out see if a canvas tent can hold up through our winters and spring and the thaw constantly being wet and drying out and that sort of thing and quite frankly I was impressed it held up really well the floor is really solid the canvas fabric is really solid so I was really happy with it I was really impressed with it and this is the first fail that really happened but it pretty much rain's coming in today I can't use it it's the tent's going to be flooded um, and if I want to use the stove um, it just causes a whole bunch of concerns I do have a larger tent my uh, five meter bell tent and it's worth noting that the fabric when the company sent me that one, they said the uh, the fabrics changed. So I'm going to show you that tent and I'll show you the fabric and uh, show you how different that is. So this is very disappointing. I was coming out here to uh, to do a video for you guys. Um, but ironically enough, I have different news that's come along about the same time. So I guess uh, one door closes, another one opens. Um, I have some really exciting news for you. So I'm going to take this tent down, get the stove out of here. And we're going to meet up at the site of my other tent. And I have some really big news for you that I'm really excited about. So uh, stay tuned. Let me get this down and uh, I'll get right back to you, okay? It's just starting to feel like Groundhog Day for me. I'm coming to another site, but with much different news. So if this goes as planned, you have already seen what happened to my small canvas tent. The fabric failed. It's pretty much unusable. I can probably fix it, but it's going to make some uh, challenges with the, the heat resistance area of the stove. And that's a whole nother thing I'll have to look at when I uh, get a chance. The big news on this one is this is my five meter bell tent here at a completely different property, a property that I can finally call my own, my own property where I can do whatever I want. I have my wood stove, all the gear that I'm gonna transport here and set up the tent, hopefully for the last time. And what I mean by that is, I realize that what I'm doing is not going to continue to work out long-term. Canvas tents are great. The quality of these tents are really good, but to be left out for months at a time through a winter, I'm starting to realize it's not realistic and I kind of expected that when I started this thing, but I did a long-term review of the small tent and realistically, a canvas tent out in the elements for five months all winter long, it really did hold up very well. This one here has a different uh, fabric, heat resistant fabric around the stovepipe. And I'll show you that and maybe if the other one had that, maybe it would have made a difference, I'm not sure. This is new fabric. This is not a, this is not a fabric. This is almost like a rubber sort of material. I think there's a rubber coating on the outside, fabric on the inside here. And, uh, Again, it's just gotta hold up this winter. But the big news on this property here is what I'm going to do, this is my big announcement for my channel, and it's, it's pretty huge, is that uh, I'm going to live in this canvas tent all winter long, and quite frankly, as long as it takes, and I'm gonna be building a cabin right there behind the camera. Yeah, I'm pretty excited. This is a hardwood bush predominantly. There's not a lot of spruce and pines and that sort of thing that you would use to build a traditional log cabin. So my approach on this is I'm going to build a cordwood log cabin. So if you don't know what cordwood construction is, keep watching, it'll start to make sense and I'll explain it as I go. But what I'm gonna do is, my plan here is to set up camp, 
get things a little more organized, move into, I'm looking forward to having the bigger tent. It's much more comfortable, a lot, a lot more room in it. I can cook in there a lot more comfortably. I can bring my dogs out. I'm, I'm really looking forward to that part. I'm really looking forward to enjoying the process. Uh, as you may have known, if you've been watching my channel, I'm, I'm retiring, uh, you know, within the next two years. I want this to be my little uh, getaway. And I have three children. I have a uh, you know, wonderful family that I couldn't be more thankful for, but my children are just starting to get to that age where they're going to be going into university soon, which is not good news for my pocketbook. All three of them are really smart, honor roll students, uh, couldn't be more proud, um, but unfortunately, again, that means uh, more than likely uh, big expenses when they get to university. I can't justify spending money on myself to have a cabin or to have some sort of trailer or to go on trips all the time. Um, I feel like, you know, I owe it to them to help them out as much as I can. So my theory on this project is going to be to do it as inexpensive as possible. I plan to what I'm going to call recycle the forest and uh, I'm going to scavenge the forest for down trees. I'm going to cut those up, drag them back to camp here, stockpile the cordwood. I'm expecting to need anywhere from 15 to 20 cords of wood at a minimum. Don't know how I'm going to exactly do the frame construction. Probably may have to buy some milled lumber to actually frame it in. Uh, foundation is still in the, pro in the works. I'm not sure exactly how. I have some ideas. I want it to last. I want it to be here for my children to come to and maybe even their children to come hang out in and, and that would be really cool. So that's the big announcement for my channel today. Uh, thanks for watching. I'm going to get this uh, set up. In the next little while I'm going to be working around here um, starting to stake out where I want the cabin at. I have a general idea right there. It's a beautiful spot surrounded by big mature oak trees and maples. It's a, it's a really exciting area. Couldn't be more happy. Finally got a place to call my own. If you haven't already done so, please subscribe. This is going to be an amazing journey. I, I want to share it with you. I'm going to have some drone shots of, of before and the process and then when it's done. And uh, it's going to be great. So I'm really excited. I'm going to move into the tent now, gather all my gear. I'm not going to be living in the tent full time. I don't want to, uh, to come across like that. I'm going to be coming up to the property. And when I do, because it's so far away from my house, I'm going to obviously have to stay here and live out of the tent while I'm here working on the cabin. So while I'm here, I realistically 100% will be living in the tent while I'm building the cabin. And it's, uh, it's going to be an exciting thing. I'll take my dogs with me. Uh, hopefully I can take uh, Griff and Pierce and maybe I can drag my daughter up here and that sort of thing. My wife can come out. Friends and family, uh, we'll see if they get out here with me or not. I don't know what to expect. It's going to be a long journey. So if you haven't already done so, please subscribe and follow along. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. Cheers.